Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm making meatloaf and potatoes at the same time, right inside your Instant Pot. Now, if you hear some noise, I have a little helper down there. Yep, just busy as can be. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com, and I am making meatloaf and potatoes at the same time in the Instant Pot. Now this recipe is my grandma's meatloaf recipe, and I'm actually making it with ground turkey. You can make it with ground beef if you want. Both recipes will work. And if you don't have an Instant Pot, I'll also put a link in the description for you so you can make it in the oven too. Now if you didn't know, every Monday I'm sharing a new Instant Pot recipe. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can get all the Instant Pot recipes every single Monday. All right you guys, let's head on into the kitchen and make this delicious meatloaf and potatoes. So like I said before, I like to use ground turkey for this recipe, but you can use ground beef. My grandma would use ground beef. All right, we're gonna add 1 4th cup of ketchup. I'm just kind of guessing there. I like to add garlic salt. You can add normal salt and then also some pepper. This is just to give it a little bit of flavoring. Next on top, I'm gonna add two eggs right into the bowl. Now the recipe that I am using is my grandma's. She calls for a whole onion. I didn't love that much onion, so I'm gonna cut it down to a half an onion next time. And then you're gonna add one cup of oats, old-fashioned oats. Then on top of that, you're gonna add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire, or however your family says it. It's that sauce, one tablespoon. And then the last ingredient is tomato soup. So I'm only gonna add about half the can of tomato soup here. Now, my grandma used her special trick here, and it's she used her hand to mix everything together. If you use beaters of some sort, it will mix it a little too much together, so using your hand is the perfect way to get the perfect texture. All right, now that everything's ready, we're gonna put stuff into the pot. So my potatoes are going on the very bottom of my pot, and I have about, ooh, 10 small ones, or you can do six or seven large ones. So I have two different kinds, just because I had different potatoes in my house, just using the rest of them. Then I'm gonna put my little rack right over top. If you don't have a rack, that's okay. You could put it, your pan right on top of the potatoes, but the rack seems to help it a little more. So these are the Ecovana pans that I use. I'll put a link in the description. They are amazing, I use them all the time. Now you wanna make sure that it's just below the fill line so your lid will actually go on. So now that I all my meat mixture is ready, I'm gonna pour it right in to my Ecovana pan. Now if I would film this again, I would add my meatloaf on the outside of the pot just in case it did fall down the sides. I don't want it touching my potatoes, but thankfully it didn't fall apart and it stayed all into that pan. So now I'm just spreading it out even so it will cook evenly. All right, now that that's ready to go, I'm gonna take the rest of my tomato soup and I used way too much. I should have done half of it, but that's okay. I'm gonna add a little ketchup to make up for my tomato sauce. Then you're gonna do another tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and then one tablespoon of brown sugar. Now the recipe calls for two tablespoons, but I just like one tablespoon. I don't like it as sweet. So now you're just gonna mix this up really, really good and you're going to pour it right on top of your meatloaf. And go ahead and spread it around just as evenly as you possibly can get it. Now you don't wanna skip this step because the sauce on top makes it taste so good. So now it is time to cook the meatloaf. So I'm gonna put my lid, the Ecovana lid on first, and then I'm going to put my Instant Pot lid on. So after you put it on, make sure it's sealed tight. You want the knob turned to sealing, not venting, and I'm gonna cook it on manual. Now in the Ecovana, Ecovana pot, you can do it for 25 minutes. If you're doing a loaf pan or something bigger so it's thicker, you want 30 minutes. All right, when it's done, so the L will appear, meaning it's going to start counting up. Um, I did a quick release, so that means I turned my knob quickly so I could get all the pressure out, and I'm gonna take my lid right off. Now, I wish you could be here to smell this because it smells so good. 
So I always do the check. I'm checking in the middle of my meatloaf, make sure it's all cooked through. If it's not, go ahead and put it back into your Instant Pot and do it for as many minutes as you think. It could be two minutes, it could be 10 minutes. It really depends on how thick your meatloaf is and even what kind of meat you have. So my potatoes on the bottom, don't forget about those, those are done now too. So I took my metal rack out. I'm just gonna drain the water out so I can put the liquid in I want to add. So I'm adding three tablespoons of butter and then about four tablespoons or so of milk. I'm just guessing here. And then I just like to add a little bit of salt and pepper and go ahead and smash it. Now my potato masher was being used by my daughter so I'm doing my chop and stir utensil, which worked just as good. All right, my potatoes are done. You can use beaters to make these even creamier, but I like them thick. All right, I hope you really like my Instant Pot meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Now don't worry, I have two printable recipes of these for you. One is the Instant Pot version, the other one is the oven versions. Now, if you haven't joined my Instant Pot Recipes Facebook group, you should do that. I'm gonna put a link in the description for you. If you ever have questions or comments or concerns or even just favorite recipes you wanna share, that group is the perfect place to share those things. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me today on Instant Pot Monday. I'll see you next Monday. See ya, bye. Did you get it, Owie? Yeah. Oh no, can you say hi? <laughs> hi, everyone. Did you say hi? Hi, May. <laughs>